So this is Ajal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial I am going to share with you system and types of system. Alright, I mean what is system basically and what are types of system. Uh, so this tutorial can help you to definitely get knowledge about this system. Right, so we are studying about thermodynamics. So in thermodynamics it's all about system and surrounding and which separating us from system and surrounding that is known as boundary so this system is totally uh, I mean all other things just like uh, boundary surrounding universe these all three things are depend on a system okay I mean especially boundary and surrounding not universe because universe is everything but if you are talking about system, that means as I am creating this video, then right now my attention is totally focused on the video tutorial. That's why I can make it quite useful for you. This is it. I mean, where your attention is focused, that is known as system. Now, let me share with you its definition. If we'll go for the definition, then the, this is simple definition of system. What it state that, it state that anything anything under consideration or attention if you are considering anything or your attention is focused that is known as system if you will go for another definition that is also here that is also definitely I will share with you or you can say that the another definition is here it is a control region in a space uh, in a space over our attention is focused so these are two definitions I mean you can remember any one if you are preparing for university examination then that's good well if you are preparing for competitive examination then this topic is good to understand basic of it but most probably we get question from other topics just like first law of thermodynamics steady flow energy equation I we usually get question from them only okay so if you are preparing for uh, university examination then this topic is also this topic is important you can get long question as well as short question okay now so what is system you understand now suppose that we are working somewhere okay if you are sitting in a classroom you are sitting in a classroom and a teacher is teaching there right so your system is you and your teacher as well as the board where he is teaching and other than if you if your attention is focused totally on on the classroom and on your study then otherwise if you are seeing here and there then your system in between here and there okay now which if you if you if your attention is totally focused on the board that means that system between board and you only other students sitting around you those students are just surrounding for you so what is separating you from system and surrounding that is boundary and as I am giving example of this, this is a boundary. Uh, what kind of boundary is this? This is an imaginary boundary. This is an imaginary boundary. Remember that. If you will go for total, I mean types of boundary, then there are four types of boundary. Real boundary, fixed boundary, uh, movable boundary and imaginary boundary. As you are sitting in a room, you are doing something in the room, so your system is in the room. So, which separating room from other rooms that is wall. So, wall is a real boundary. So, you can it is also called fixed boundary. Suppose that you are going somewhere and uh, that there is a room, but that room is made up of maybe, uh, maybe asbestos or anything, and that can be uh, movable from here to there. That is known as movable boundary. And here we are talking about imaginary boundary. So, real boundary that there is a big difference between real boundary and imaginary boundary representation. 
सो हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट रियल बाउंड्री एंड इमेजनरी बाउंड्री दैट इज द थिंग वी नीड टू नो इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रियल बाउंड्री देन रियल बाउंड्री इज डिनोटेड बाय कंटिन्यूअस लाइन जस्ट लाइक दिस इज अ रूम दिस इज अ रियल बाउंड्री एज देयर इज अ सिस्टम बिटवीन यू टीचर एंड द बोर्ड देन देयर इज एन इमेजनरी बाउंड्री एंड इमेजनरी बाउंड्री ऑलवेज डिनोटेड बाय डॉटेड लाइन डॉटेड लाइन एंड दिस इज डिनोटेड बाय कंटिन्यूअस continuous line while in engineering drawing while if you are in plus 2 then you don't understand about it because we have stated about types of line in engineering drawing that's why i'm sharing with you and that's why you uh, you know if you go in engineering you will understand if you are already doing engineering then you are understanding what exactly i am talking about right now so this is about system now if we'll go for types of system so definitely there are types of system right so what are types of system basically types of system so basically there are three types of system first second and third so what is uh, open system open system closed system and of course isolated system isolated system so these are three types of system all right so what what is the thing you need to learn from here that is after learning types of system you need to learn about it i mean what is open system what is closed system even what is isolated system and of course if you are preparing for complete examination then you need to learn all these system but what is most important for competition examination point of view that, that is application of this system where we are applying this kind of system in our daily life maybe daily life or maybe directly or indirectly attached with our life that is the thing we need to learn if we are preparing for competitive examination just like gate ssc je i am not uh, not cannot assure that you are going to get question in the upcoming examination only but yes probability of coming question from such type of thing is really more that's why i am sharing with you uh, about uh, its application and what is exactly open system i will share with you practically so let's go for it where you have to do you don't need to go anywhere i just need to change the page because it's already filled right so we got new case here now <clears throat> so we are talking about open system right so basically what is open system yeah so basically what is open system open system is one of the type of system right one of the type of system now if i am talking about there is saucepan and i am heating this saucepan and we have already put it so uh, water in the saucepan okay because of this heating the temperature of the water present in the saucepan will be keep on increasing right so wh what will happen after the temperature will reach to 100 degree centigrade it will start converting into vapor that means it will definitely go to surrounding here we are boiling water this is a system and it is vapor is going to surrounding so as well as heat will go surrounding heat is going surrounding plus vapor big vapor means we are it is con, uh, it is a components of water i mean it's a combination of I mean, it's a form of water right so that means there is a conversion of two things mass plus heat so in case of open system what you can say where conversion of or interaction of you can say interaction of interaction of mass as well as energy takes place takes place between system and surrounding system and surrounding that is known as open system right now if you'll see example because as i have i have already shared with you if you are preparing for competitive examination then examples play most important role so you need to know all examples right so in case of open system what type of examples are there for us first example is 
boiler boiler is an example of open system then turbine then you may say must say the diff nozzle also there nozzle is there diffuser also there you can say uh, condenser is also there so these are all example of open system and most probably if you are preparing for gate and sscj then probability of getting question from example is much more Appli i mean application of thing is much more if you are talking about theoretical things but if you are talking about gate then 80 percent times you will get numerical problems only right now let's go for the another type of system that is closed system in this case also we'll also learn practically because it will help you to understand about it much better way that's why i am sharing with you now let's say we are having a closed system i mean there is no direct relation between what we have contained in this container with the outside so what is separating from the surrounding this suppose that this is a container and this container is made up of wood conductor of heat so what exactly we have put it water in the container now we'll put we'll just keep it uh, keep uh, providing heating to the container that that's why what will happen temperature of the container will increase that means after increasing after reaching 100 degree centigrade of water what will happen the water will start will convert into vapor form that means what will happen that means what will happen there would be there would be phase changes will be taking place that means you know vapor cannot go outside because it is a closed system right but yes heat can go outside that means heat what is it one of the form of energy that means what is the definition of closed system if i will ask what is the definition of closed system can you imagine yeah definition of closed system is there is interaction of energy takes place between system and surrounding as i have shared with you not mass only only energy interaction is taking place between system and surrounding that is known as closed system so what is basically closed system only energy interaction is taking place only energy interaction is taking place that is known as closed system now let's go for that what exactly i told you to know that is example example of closed system so there is an example of closed system that is piston cylinder arrangement without valve piston cylinder arrangement without valve so this is an example of what a closed system now we'll move forward the last one which is really simple one that's why i will not just uh, i will not uh, make the increase the video length because i wanted to make it uh, useful for you right not length so length is doesn't matter for me so now <clears throat> isolated system in case of isolated system suppose that we have a system here right we are just putting heat here right or suppose that we have a thermoflex okay we have already just uh, put t or 40 right so what will happen here we have thermoplast that means this flask will be covered by insulated material so here in case of isolated system what is happening there is neither neither mass nor energy conversion taking place where from where from system to surrounding 
okay you understand this right so from system to surrounding there is no mass nor mass or neither mass nor energy so in open system both are convergent taking place closed system only energy and isolated system nothing is interaction taking place between system and surrounding now most important thing most important thing what is that example so without taking too much time let me share with you one is thermo flask thermo flask is an example of isolated system and best example if i will say best example give best example of isolated system that is universe is uh, the best example of isolated system i hope you understand about system and types of system with example and of course if you like the tutorial share with your friends and of course you need to if you wanted to get more videos like this one then subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye